King Nipsey, you know, he passed away and you show and you you went down there and you showed love, you showed your your um you showed your support for him and his mm -hmm. his his message and things like that. So what did he mean to you? I noticed that on your feed, like what does he mean to you? I just bro, it's crazy because I really was listening to like some other ass Nipsey shit like way before he died. Like I was I've been on Nip, like me and my cousin, cause like we was on Nip for show for show. But when he died, bro. I don't know what it was. I just made a paint of him, like, literally, like, probably, like, an hour after the nigga died or something. Hour, a couple hours after he died. And, like, I made the shit, and I even sold So, you know, he a crit, rolling 60s, boom. I sold the, the original painting, bro, for $60, but it was a catch. I'm like, whoever got 61s, like, $1 bills, run it. You can have this motherfucker, you feel me? Because at the time, I was, like, collecting $1 bills. Like, it was, like, a thing I was doing. But I'm like, whoever got $61 bills could have the original. Boom. Bro, motherfucking shade room. Seen the shit. Posted. Like, my shit was going up for a second. Like, shit was crazy. So I'm like, I might as well go out there. You feel me? Show up. Yeah. yeah, I saw you had popped up down there. I was like, I said, that boy slid down there real quick. Like, because, you know what I'm saying? Slid we were still there, in the bro. midst of, like, it kind of happened right around my daughter's birthday. And so I got the news from my partner. He was like, man, because I was on, like you. I was on Nip early. I kind of put him on Nip. And then he was like, man, you, you saw what happened to Nip? And I was like, nah, bro. And, he, and then I went and looked, and I saw, I was like, man, what the fuck? I like, how they going to take somebody who really putting in that work for the community, for our people, and things like that? And like you, bro, I did the work, bro. Because I, I, I like, I don't know, me personally, I only work when I'm inspired, and when I'm inspired by someone or something, and I just, I got it, man, and I just put the work in, put the post up, put the work in myself. So I'm like you, bro, like I... Like each year for his death date, I try to come up with a new new piece or his birthday. Mm -hmm. I try to come up with a new piece because, man, just like his music and his messaging, man, I actually been reading a book. I've been reading a book about him. So, bro, it just like he just meant so much to me, even though I had never met him before. Right. And so I felt that and I felt that with you because you shot you shot down there quick, bro. And I was like, man, that's what's up. He got down there quick and you had to paint. I saw that. And like I said, Shade Room picked it up. So that's pretty dope, man. So, man, how and since since then. What kind of message have you taken away from that, man? Like, how did, does it make you move different? Or, you know what I'm saying? Do you just listen to his music and get more inspired? Bro, honestly, bro, like, nigga, like, I used to tell people, like, Trap Art, like, everybody from Trap Art, bro, they know me for being, like, cool and shit, you feel me? They know me for being at Trap Art. Like, they didn't know me prior to that. Like, but move, like, how I move, like, because, like, every day, like, it's, it's different, bro, because, like, you got to move how these niggas move, basically. When you step out your house, bro, you got to move how them niggas move. Because niggas, like, like shit like this, niggas going to want to take this, bro. Like, and it's not even, like, worth your life and shit like that. But niggas out there is thirsty, bro. Like, on some for other real. shit, bro. I, I move like, nigga, I'm supposed to, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. I move yeah, like man, I'm you, supposed to, for sure. Yeah, you got to you gotta move you gotta move smooth and low-key, man. Because, like, like I said, it don't take one instant for somebody to take your life and take you away from your family and your kids, man. And, you know, even back when you're talking about the trap art, man, I know I was reading your story about in the magazine about you know, your background. So tell me a little bit more about the background outside of the tattoo and all the cool guy that they know. Tell me a little bit more about that background because I read it in the story, but I want you to kind of explain it to the people. Man, bro, it's a, it a, a rough life for me, for real. Like, I had a good, like, upbringing or whatever. Like, I had both parents and shit, but I had, so it was a rough life, for real, for real. I didn't seen a lot of shit, a young age, everything. Like, my parents is young. I'm 30, I'm about, I'm 31, about to be 32. My parents is 47, you feel me? Like, so, like, you can imagine, like, literally, when I tell people how to make it, like, a long story short, shit, like, menace to society, right? That's literally how, like, I seen my life growing up. Like, I was seeing shit, like, different shit. You feel me? Drug dealers, pimps, hustlers. Like, everybody at my crib. Like, my crib was, like, the party spot. I used mm -hmm. to love seeing the shit, seeing the drugs, the guns, the dope fiends, like, everything. I used to love seeing that. Like, it used to, it, it gave me a rush, bro. Like, you feel me? But yeah. I had a crazy little upbringing, though. But, I mean, I was, like, the black sheep. You feel me? But I made it out of all that shit. Yeah, but I, and I can imagine how much that, you know, because we always have that little internal struggle when we're kids and kind of like how we grew up. Like I said, like I said, I didn't grow up. I, luckily, I had my mom and my pops with me, but we grew up in the trap, though. You know what I'm saying? Right, the D-boys right, right. like you, the D-boys. You got on my block. We got 50 dudes out there with the shirt off, playing ball, shooting dice, listening to music. You know, cops coming through, banging heads. You are So I know, I know what that feels like. 
But at the same time, like you take that pain and you kind of, you know, wrap that into your music. So I want to get into your mm-hmm. music. Like, what kind of inspired that music side of it? Because I didn't even know you did the music. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know you did I the like music. That. I like how you put that. <laughs> Yeah, I like how you, know, you put that together, cuz. Hey, I'm working like here, man. I'm, wor- I'm working here, man. You know what I mean? I'm working no here. I do. Like, that's even like, it's some shit that I say in my music, you feel me, that I know probably might touch or hurt people a certain type of way, or they might not like how I said it. But it's like, you feel me? I just speak how, you feel me, would come from the heart. Like, on everything I love, bro, it's been people like that told me, like, boy, you sound like Pac a little bit. You feel me? How you be talking? Uh-huh. Like, I be saying some shit like it's just real shit and I don't lie. Like any song I've ever done, it's no type of fucking fake shit in or no fictional shit at all. Everything I say is literally some shit, bro, like that I really went through for real. Every yeah, single yeah. fucking bar. Yeah, yeah. So would you would you be looking into like doing more of like a mixtape or E P or dropping a whole album or is it just something that you kinda do when you feel like you need to do get another another outlet or something? Honestly, bro, it's like I love doing mixtapes because I like rapping over beats, bro. Like, especially like sample beats, like with singing or something in it. Like, bro, that's my shit. And it's like poetry to me. Like, I got, bro, hundreds, like hundreds of verses, bro. Like probably thousands of verses in my phone that I've never, nobody's ever heard. I just got shit prepared to if I ever go in the studio or something. It's like some fun shit to me. But it's like also a release too, though. Alrighty, so I gotta hit you with this. 